Have you ever wondered how we can learn more about the origins of our universe? Look no further than the James Webb Space Telescope's latest observation of a kilonova. This gamma-ray burst not only provides insight into the mysteries of the cosmos, but also produces elements such as tellurium, iodine, and thorium. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the new observation of a kilonova by the James Webb Space Telescope. Brace yourself for an exciting adventure as we explore how this discovery can help us answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy and astrophysics. Stay tuned and let's embark on this thrilling ride together. Mysterious Kilonova Explosions Astronomers have been tirelessly working to uncover the secrets of the universe, and their efforts have led to some remarkable discoveries that have significantly challenged existing theories on the origins of some of the most powerful explosions in the cosmos. The recent observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, have brought to light the explosive collision of runaway neutron stars, which has been aptly named a kilonova. This awe-inspiring event has revealed the immense power that can be harnessed to create heavy elements like tellurium, which was previously unreachable. These groundbreaking discoveries have opened up new avenues of research and understanding into the formation of elements in the vast expanse of the universe. In a recent study, scientists have made an unusual discovery that may hold the key to understanding the formation of life on Earth. The study reports that essential components of life, such as iodine and thorium, have been detected in the aftermath of one of the most enormous and unexplainable cosmic explosions ever witnessed. The discovery sheds new light on the cosmic processes that create the substances necessary for life while simultaneously raising more questions about the enigmatic sources of these radiant bursts known as kilonovas. How powerful is a gamma-ray burst, or GRB? On March 7th, scientists witnessed a spectacular gamma-ray burst that illuminated the vastness of deep space for over three minutes. Following this display of cosmic brilliance, the aftermath of the burst, GRB 230307A, was closely monitored by astronomers using advanced facilities such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which has opened new frontiers into space exploration. Astronomers were astounded when they discovered a massive burst of energy known as GRB 230307A, which shone more brilliantly than all the stars of the Milky Way combined, ranking it the second brightest GRB ever detected. This occurrence was thought to result from a cosmic smash-up between two ultra-dense neutron stars called a kilonova that was situated around 8 million light-years away from our planet. But what puzzled experts was that, unlike most kilonova bursts that last just a few seconds, this cosmic collision persisted for more than three minutes, leaving scientists in amazement. Through the discovery made by Radboud University astrophysicist Andrew Levon and his team, we can now understand that even the most puzzling and long-lived explosions can create heavy elements essential to life on Earth. This discovery serves as a reminder of the incredible processes that occur in the universe and the vital role they play in shaping our existence. With the help of JWST, the researchers were able to shed light on the intricate process of nucleosynthesis and how it occurs across the universe. In an email to Motherboard, Andrew Levon described the experience of working on the cosmic murder mystery of what caused the gamma-ray burst as both exhilarating and challenging. Although it was a bright and fascinating phenomenon, it took a lot of work to understand. It required a team of experts to piece together the various data bits and build models that could explain it. The process involved several steps, including locating the burst's position in the sky observing a color change that indicated it was a likely kilonova and waiting for it to move into a visible part of the sky for the JWST to observe. Despite the challenges, the team's dedication and hard work made this an utterly fantastic experience. At the end of it all, the astrophysicist admitted that it took a lot of work and a bit of luck for everything to come together. What are gamma-ray bursts? In the vast expanse of space, the most potent and energetic explosions are known as gamma-ray bursts. A variety of fire events such as the explosive deaths of massive stars or the violent interactions between compact dead stars like neutron stars or black holes can trigger these spectacular bursts. Over the past decade, astronomers have been lucky enough to observe a handful of kilonova GRBs, which they believe 
originate from the collision of two neutron stars or between a neutron star and a black hole. These mesmerizing displays of cosmic fireworks offer a glimpse into the fascinating and mysterious workings of the universe. The building blocks of life, including essential heavy elements like oxygen, carbon, and phosphorus, are believed to originate from the depths of stars. When stars reach the end of their lives, they eject these vital materials into space, which combine to form new planetary systems. In addition, when the remnants of dead stars collide in kilonova events, they create unique elemental materials like gold, platinum, and uranium. It is fascinating to know that the materials that compose stars, planets, and all life on Earth are primarily made up of the remnants of our ancient stellar predecessors in one way or another. The observations made by the JWST of the Gamma Ray Burst 230307A have led to a remarkable discovery. The data shows that a kilonova is capable of producing heavy chemical elements like tellurium and critical elements such as iodine and thorium that are essential for sustaining life on Earth. This finding is significant as it provides a crucial piece of information about the potential origins of life not only on our planet but also on other planets in the universe. The discovery has opened up a new avenue of research, which could help us better understand the mysteries surrounding the emergence of life. In a recent discussion, Andrew Levon highlighted the importance of iodine for mammals. Apart from regulating thyroid function, this essential mineral exhibits antioxidant properties in other areas of the human body. Interestingly, some scientific studies suggest that even the last universal common ancestor, a unicellular organism from which all life on Earth evolved, required iodine. This intriguing fact begs whether other heavy elements are also essential for life as we perceive it. Could they have facilitated the various evolutionary paths? Or are there alternative paths that do not necessitate the presence of iodine? Andrew Levon explained that supernovas explode in young stars, while lower mass stars, like the Sun, still form around them. However, neutron star mergers happen on much longer timescales, often in more remote places of the universe. This means the timescales on which these heavy elements can be incorporated into stars, planets, and even life might be much longer. If the delays of making some elements critical to life are long, then it may make a difference to where and when in the universe complex life is possible. Challenges the long-lasting brightness of GRB 230307A, along with its unusual spectral signatures, challenges the existing models of these massive collisions. Consequently, researchers are motivated to develop new explanations for these phenomena. Surprisingly, such a bright and long burst could be formed from the merger of two compact stars, since the existing consensus in the field was that collapsing massive stars form more intense, longer bursts while the coalescence of two compact stars results in weaker, shorter bursts. Although there was evidence last year contradicting this notion, it was unexpected for scientists to observe the second brightest burst ever recorded from a merger. Levon and his colleagues are investigating mergers that involve black holes or very massive neutron stars, or possibly even new physics, to explain these long-lasting events. There is still a lot of work to be done before scientists can gain any clear insights into the role of kilonova in the emergence of life. In the meantime, astronomers have many other questions that they hope to answer or constrain about these remarkably beautiful and mysterious mergers between dead stars. Levon has admitted that a significant challenge in this line of work is the rarity of mergers between neutron stars and the resulting kilonova. As a result, only a few cases have been studied so far, and this is only the second instance where a spectrum has been taken. It is also the first time the spectrum has been taken in the wavelength range of JWST. There is still a vast amount of discovery space left, as there may be significant variations between different events. To gain more insights into the universe, astrophysicists require more targets to study using the James Webb Space Telescope and other such facilities immediately after they occur and for extended periods, possibly hundreds of days. Currently, there are numerous missions underway exploring these opportunities. The ultimate goal of these studies is to gain a detailed understanding of kilonovae, including the various elements formed during these events and the amount of each element present. By achieving this understanding, researchers can determine whether they are responsible for some, most, or all heavy elements observed in the surrounding environment. 
This will enable them to accurately identify the origin of every element in the periodic table. Pretty cool, right? Please join us next time as we delve deeper into the wonders of space. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.